Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Celsius10 in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So it should already be here, it's called the Envy system, there we go. And let's see what they have prepared for us today. The description looked pretty interesting on this one, at first glance, so let's have a look. Quite a, quite a big few lengthy paragraphs, so we've got plenty of reading for today. So, let's uh, wait for a second time to load. So that, my guess is there's a lot of stuff in it. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's running as well. An actual moving simulation. Check that out. That's quite unusual. We're in the back of a galaxy. Check that out. Let's just zoom out quickly. Neptune Swell. Check that out. Now, that is pretty awesome. We don't see many people do this with their systems. No wonder it took a while to load in. And it's actually playable as well, which is fantastic stuff. Right, so the Envy system. The Envy system is around 1.26 billion years, um, and it is located in the galaxy um, 1416. Okay. Because in Roman numerals, that would be 14. Yeah, XIV and then 416. Okay. Um, the Envy system is one of the most hatchable systems and deadliest system in the galaxy. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right, so Envy itself, the star. Not much known is about the uh, not much is known about the yellow main sequence star, but Envy is a fairly young star and has about the same mass as the Sun and the same radius, and is only about 1.26 billion years old. Envy was formed when gravity started swirling dust and gas around, folding into a star and forming heat and light. Cool. First of the planets. Oh. Oh, this could be a bit of a problem to navigate if we keep clicking clicking around the galaxy as well. Okay, right. We may have to use the search feature here because this may be a little easier. Right, there we go. Right. So first of the planets, here we go. Let's just uh, turn that off as well. Oh, that's weird. When you zoom in, the galaxy disappears. <laughs> so there it is anyway. Um, it has an average temperature of 121 degrees Celsius and it is about the same size as Mercury or Titan. It's an egg-shaped orbit around MV. Okay. Cool. Right, so next up we have got Nitimus. Let's try and select it properly. See, it won't even let me click it unless I get really close to it, I think. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna, that's going to be impossible to navigate. It won't let me click on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to use this. So, okay, next up we've got... Here it is. Cool. Right, it's the second closest planet to Envy. It has an average temperature of 346 degrees Celsius and has a thick atmosphere just like Venus. But unlike Venus, it deflects a little bit of the heat from its uh, star, only making it a little colder than Venus. It, has, it is rich in uh, aluminium or aluminum and copper. Uh, a day on this planet is 263 Earth days. Um, uh, 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 it is flipped upside down due to the gravity between the star. So it spins anti-clockwise. It has a similar mass to Venus itself. Cool. Right, next up we got Fugs. Next object out. So there you go. Looks more like an Earth like world as well. Looking good. Right, so Fugs that is the third planet from Envy and is the most hassle planet in the system. Its average temperature is around 8.74 degrees Celsius and perfect for life. Um, it has nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. Its light likelihood is 81.4%, making it perfect for life. It also has seasons like Earth, winter, fall, and summer. Fugs has a lot of storms near the bottom of the planet in the summertime, just like the countries of Earth. Okay. Um, it is also two asteroid moons called Itern and Mine, which are balls of iron, copper, water, and sulfur dioxide. Mine has water under its surface, and uh, Lutheran has sulfur dioxide under its surface too. Fugs also has one major moon called uh, Tafea. Uh, Fugs is also a tad bit bigger than Earth and has a radius of 1.04 Earths and a mass of 1.09 Earths, making its gravity 1.01, .01, which is 0 0.1 higher than Earth's gravity. Cool. All right, there you go. So nice looking Earth-like world as well. I like the colour blending, obviously a bit more of the orange and greens mixing. There. That's how I normally do mine, so you get my approval for sure there. <laughs> so there we go. Um, it's going to be a little hard to navigate to the moons due to the massive background galaxy up. Oh kind of want to delete the galaxy just so we can move a little easier um i may actually do that because it's a bit annoying i can lock onto the moon though there it is so looking good cool but yeah before we continue i'm just going to remove them as much as i like it it's really cool i need to remove it because it's getting annoying to navigate so unfortunately i need to get rid of you we can always come back to it at a later time can i just open this up select the galaxy uh, where are we 
I or can I just delete it? And that's just one of the one of many. That's gonna get a little troublesome. Oh, how do we delete it? Uh is it Cause it's gonna take a while to delete all of these, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. That made a difference. Oh my god, that's really weird. Huh. Well, I could just do that, actually. There we go. That's better. Ah, that's much better. Okay, cool. Just hope none of the objects had rings, because I've just deleted all of those as well, if it did. Right. Um, anyway, so now we can actually go and navigate properly. Yeah, that's the only issue with those, is it's a little hard to navigate when you're inside the things. So, um, the major moon is around the same size as our moon, but has, is a little smaller. It is a barren world would have an average temperature of 18.4 degrees Celsius at minus 22.4 Celsius at night. Because it has no atmosphere, the planet is rich in copper and iron, but has a bit more gold on the planet. Okay, cool. Right, next up we've got Euphorn, U-turn there. You fern. Oh, that's looking nice. That's nice looking nice. It's the fourth planet from Envy and has alien life on the planet. It's an average temperature of 3.74 degrees and has alien animals living on it. It has almost the same mass as of uh, Finus, except it's a little bit smaller. Um, this one has one asteroid moon called Dummers. Dummers also has water under its surface, just like mine and Laterne. Um, and it has one major moon called Hummers. Oh, we already, already mentioned that. Okay. Oh, Dummers and then Hummers. <laughs> uh, the planet itself is 1.26 billion years old, just like the other three inner planets. Cool. Looking good. There's Dummers there. And then we've got Hummers over here. <laughs> there you go. Looking good. Right, then we've got the asteroid belt. Which has been deleted, just because I had to remove everything. So the asteroid belt, obviously it would have been in this region. The first asteroid belt is the smallest belt and has uh, 1,000 to 150, or yeah, 15,000 asteroids in it. And four major asteroids called Gertrude, Enern, Mernkenov and Rinov, which are fast asteroids traveling around 11.9 kilometers per second. And not forgetting Barat and Liberia, which are both traveling at a whopping 14.1 kilometers per second. So that is at these guys here. It's quite a lot of them. So the asteroid belt would have been quite a large structure before we deleted it. So there's all of the objects in there. There's actually a gas giant in there as well. That's the fifth planet. Go check that out in a minute. Look at the rest of the asteroid belt objects. All of these guys. Cool. Right. Anyways, fifth planet on. Minion. My Minion. It's the fifth and biggest planet from Envy. It has a mass of 1.22 Jupiters. It's so about 1.26 billion years old as well. A moon called Hyten and Renus. Both moons are rich in iron, tungsten, copper, gold, and platinum, which makes them so special. Uh, Minara is hidden behind the first asteroid belt and keeps the belt in perfect orbit. Uh, it has no rings due to gravity of the planet. Um, it is also many made of hydrogen and helium like Jupiter itself. Cool. So that's your typical gas giant build. Um, so we've got Hyten and Renus. That's its moons. Cool. Right, next up we got Valent, which is here. It's an asteroid in between the orbits of Mine and Eubinus, which gets pulled away by both of them, and MV, which is why in its elliptical orbit. Okay, next up we got Eubinus, so that's the second of the biggest of the planets. Over here, so it's quite a big gap now. Here we go, looking good. The gas giant has four major moons called Morshin, Tilin, Orgamir and Yeev. All of these moons are rich in copper, gold, um, and platinum, and Orgamir has oceans and methane on the planet, and a little bit smaller than Titan. It has the mass of 0.593 Jupiter and has beautiful rings orbiting just like Saturn. We'll go back and check those at the end. Um, it is primarily made of hydrogen and helium, like its brother, Minion. Okay. So this is the moon we need to check out methane uh, oceans. And we're in the latest update of the game where it actually is proper methane as well. If we look here, it should be anyway. Where are we? Methane. Oh no, it's water. Okay. Oh no, there's methane. Never mind. Cool. So there it is. Very nice. It's cool we have the elements now in the game. That is really, really cool. Right, there you go. So in the other moons as well. There's an object in the back that says you found this, so we'll check that out in a bit as well. <laughs> cool. And then the last moon there. Okay, nicely done. Okay. 
Next up, we got uh, Titusta. Over here. I guess it's more of an ice giant now. Oh, yeah, it is. Very dark as well. It's a seventh planet from MV and has wind speeds of up to 2,387 miles an hour. It is the second smallest gas giant of the system. It has two little planets orbiting called Planks and Varnrip. These two moons have iron and lithium on them and they are also frozen wells of water just like Europa. It is a blue gas giant and the beautiful rings just like Uranus and made up of argon, hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia and water. Cool. And then the moons. We've got Planks here. <laughs> And then a van rip over here. Cool. Very similar in appearance, both of those guys as well. Looking good. Nice gas giant. Yeah, I do like that. That looks good. Okay, so moving on. Now we have the outer solar system. So we've got the second Astro Belt. Again, we'll check that at the end. Um, a little bit bigger than the first one. Has 2,000 to 2,500 asteroids and is full of dwarf planets, which is what you can see here. Okay, so we're heading to, next. We're heading to a world called uh, Litera, which is this one here. Looking good. It's the closest dwarf planet. It is in elliptical orbit with MV, and it takes uh, 883 years to complete a full orbit around MV, and is surrounded by little uh, no light. It also has one moon called Vor, which was discovered in 6,871, and has iron and lithium under its surface. So that is there. Cool. Right, but what we'll do as well at this distance, we will go for enhanced lightness. We'll go to studio. There you go. Both of the worlds in all their glory there. All right, next up, we've got Nitro Gun. Now, I briefly saw this one early when we were looking on the search. It did look pretty cool. So, where is it? There it is there. Cool. Oh, it looks pretty cool as well, actually. It's a dwarf planet located far, far out in the outer system. It has liquid helium rivers and lakes on its surface. It has two asteroid moons called Nursian and Aeus, which are barren asteroids. Uh, Nitro, Nitro Turn is a lonely world. Oh, it's, it's spelt different there. So, Nitro Gun, I think he means. It's a lonely world of only company. It's only moons. It takes uh, 3,135 years to make a full orbit. Cool. There you go. Looking good. So that's what it looks like underneath. It's helium oceans. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Right, next up we've got Coal Solar. Which is over here. It's a dwarf planet in a Sedna Planet 9 orbit. Um, it takes Coursella 12,872 years to make a full orbit around Evi, and people say it never will. Interesting. Right, and then we've also got uh, Vugheim over here. It's the furthest object from MV. Uh, it's a blue gas giant made out of argon, water, ammonia, and a little smidge of carbon dioxide. Um... It is in a planet 9 orbit of MV. It takes 14,489 years to orbit around the uh, star. People say it will never make its orbit as well. Grey and blue bands are clouds, ammonia, argon, carbon dioxide, storms reaching up to 2,897 miles an hour, winds as well. In a rocky planet form. Okay. Thank you for viewing my system. You can also check out the other four stars. I didn't make a description on them because they are small systems, but they are planets orbiting them. Cool, we'll check those out. So, we'll close that. But I want to see what that secret was. So, it was, uh, you found this. Where is that? There it is. What is that? That's a good question. What actually is this thing? Ah, it's that. Okay, that's the Universe Sandbox team there. Very nice. <laughs> hey. It doesn't show up when we zoom into it, but it is there. Yeah, that's cool. There you go. That's a picture. That, that's that been in the game for years, that has. For absolutely years. Right, so. One thing I also want to check out. I want to see what that Neptune uh, black hole is all about. Neptune swell. That was at the centre of the galaxy we found. So it's an all green black hole. Looking good. So we'll check out the other stars as well. See if there's anything around here. So this one's got a single planet. There you go. 360 degrees there. We've also got Shavan over here. This one's got a few more objects. So we've got Zenus. Cool. Oaks. That's an Earth-like world as well. Check that out. 
Looking good. And we've got Wokes. <laughs> Oaks and Wokes. So it's an all ocean world there. Very nice. Got a moon very close by as well. Cool. So there's those guys. I think there was one more star to check out as well. I think we just head to here. And there's one more to check out afterwards. That one in the background there. This only has one planet as well. Looking cool. There he is. Very nicely done. And then, yeah, the last star is at this one here, I believe. Zooming all the way in there. And then it has just one planet as well. Or did we already head to this one? <laughs> There's several names. Yeah, we checked them all out, haven't we? And then we checked out Shavin, didn't we? That was the yellow star. Yeah, and we definitely went here as well, the fourth star. It's all in a peculiar shape, all these stars form your nation. This one has a gas giant. Yeah, there you go. Right, that's definitely all of the stars now. Cool, but what we'll do is we'll go back in the simulation so we can see those rings and stars. Let's reload. It did take a while to load in due to the amount of uh, particles and stuff we got in here, though, because there was quite a lot of them. Let's see what we got. No, oh, it really does have a long load time, doesn't it? Come on. Oh, is it loading? Come on. There you go. Oh, this simulation actually runs, which is really cool. We like a running simulation. So there's the asteroid belt. The first one. So you can see it there. And we've got the second asteroid belt, which is further out here. The equivalent of the Kuiper belt. You can see that one is a lot larger. And then we just need to head to the Saturn gas giant, which is... Uh, where are we? Uh, which one is it? It was St. Hummers. Actually, mining, that's it. Or was it? A fifth and... Oh, no, no, it's it's Viant, is it? Or No, Ubernus, that's it. We need to go to Ubernus, never mind. There you go. Cool. There's its ring system. Very nice indeed. Looking good. And that all runs as well. Very, very nice. And yeah, it's all inside this massive green galaxy, which is really, really cool. I like that. I really like it being inside the galaxy. It's just annoying that navigating it's a bit of a pain when doing it, but oh well. And you've got the black hole in the middle, which I can't even get to, but it is there. We can just obviously try not to go there ourselves. Neptune swell at the center of this galaxy. Looking good. And there it is. So, with that all said and done, that is the Envy system. So, I really enjoyed that, actually. So, yeah, massive thank you to the user Celsius10 for sending that system in. Hope you guys all enjoyed it as well. If you like this video, let's see if we can go for 150 likes on today's video, guys. So, make sure to press that like button if you haven't already. And also, subscribe. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers as well. As it really, really helps out the channel. And, yeah, I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support. But with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day out there. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.